Hello everyone and welcome to a Fire Emblem Heroes summoning video. My name is Stitched and this is going to be a summoning session for Brave Dimitri since he's finally being rerun. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what we would get for Golden Week. I know a lot of people saw the um, various Hero Fests for all these guys coming but since last year was the picnic banner I was I was kind of hoping uh, they didn't come back just because I spent a lot of orbs like to do wasn't too long ago and then I was trying to get Spring Severa. So this is taking me a little bit by surprise, um, but no matter. We'll we'll see how many we can get with the 250-ish orbs I have. I did get, I already did my free summons, and I did get one Brave Dimitri for free, which was pretty hype. Uh, he's the only thing I got out of my free summons, actually, but I guess, um, well, he's the one that counts, so whatever. Um, so I guess we'll just get into it. Um, yeah. Start out with two blues, that's not bad. So... Um, I, w I, I try to write down some of the stuff I want to talk about during summoning sessions just because I tend to like blank out when I do these so I have some topics written down um, full disclosure I guess um, so my first one is talking about why I would choose to plus 10 brave Dimitri over legendary Dimitri and there's a couple reasons the first one is which uh, legendary and mythic banners are completely cancerous and I hate summoning on them they never go well for me um Except, like, Mill Milla's summoning session was okay, but for the most part, it's just bait, and I spend, like, way too many orbs. Um, also, I don't really care for Legendary Dimitri's art, and so even though he's probably the better unit of the two, since they are kind of, like, close to the same thing, um, I don't know what notification I just got, um, even though they're, like, pretty close to the same thing, I'm, I'm picking the art here, um, completely just I, I don't understand I didn't even really like the promotional art for three houses was always funky looking to me so I really didn't when people were like oh so glad like Chinatsu got to draw him I was kind of like really <laughs> I don't know there's been a bunch of memes about like the way he's holding his lance and all that kind of stuff so I don't know that's why I'm going with the brave one though because his art is better which I feel like is a valid reason and even if it's not it is to me so currently my Brave Dimitri is at plus four after this morning, so I need six more copies. I don't expect to finish him in this session, but hopefully between this one and then the rerun at the end of next month for the Forging Bonds rerun, um, hopefully I can get, you know, as close to plus ten as possible. Um, and if there are any circles where I don't get blues, hopefully I'll get colorless because... Oh, well, there you go. Any uh, out of the four of these, uh, legendary or not legendary, um, Brave Claude has the best fodder. Um, and there are a few pity breakers and colorless I wouldn't mind. So, so yeah. Um, I was going to talk about the Fade Channel too, but um, it really was not that exciting, I guess. Um, I feel like they just kind of did one to announce like the Golden Week events, but it wasn't really stuff that we needed to have like a whole a whole ass fey channel for um legendary uh the legendary is cool i guess i haven't played genealogy so it's kind of like whatever um i'm not looking forward to what his special is going to do to arena i feel like um arena is like arena is probably one of my least favorite modes right now at least like aether raids where i'm at which is i float in tier 21 and i have for like months at least i can like win a few matches a lot of the time i get dunked on my defense kind of does like whatever it feels like it either is a success or a complete failure i don't care that much about it um i'm not like terribly competitive in this game so it's really like whatever to me um so like aether, aether raids is fine and I don't know if it's like unpopular to say like I like Aether Raids more than Arena, but personally in Arena, it's so, so hard for me to even get five wins in a row without losing anyone. And that's like, and I have to get like a bonus unit kill and everything. And on the weeks when I just have one of the Asker heroes, it's like nigh impossible because I don't feel like investing into them because I don't really care about any of them. And so Ar Arena, <gasps> yes, cool. This is our first one of the summoning session and it took... 50 or 60 orbs pretty good cool um yeah so arena is just a real struggle for me and especially like 
water season just doesn't happen. <laughs> I really, and the problem is mostly, I don't have like a solid green unit for Arena yet, which is kind of probably incredible that I don't have a green unit for Arena because there have been so many good free to play options. There just haven't been one that like I really wanna build. I know like Ninja Hana is like super popular, but honest to God, Hana is like probably my least favorite Fates character. I don't know what I have against her. I don't know. I just don't, I, no. <laughs> and I and I get dunked on by Ninja Hana all the time in Arena, so you think that would compel me to build her. I have the Grails for her. I have the fodder for her. I'm just like, no, I'm not gonna build a hero that I don't wanna, that I don't have any attachment to just because it would do me well in Arena. So part of it, I, I will recognize I'm bringing upon myself by not using the resources the game is easily giving to me. Um, actually, I did, since my Dedu is now like plus seven, he is not bad for Arena. He does actually really well with like tanking and everything, obviously, because he's um, kind of crazy. But for, for the longest time, I'm gone without a green unit and yeah. So I have like, Pretty much no check for like legendary Krom because he has armor effectiveness. Um, yeah. So right now Aether Raids is like actually more fun to me than Arena. So um, I'm not really looking forward to see what uh, the new legendary is going to do to Arena. I feel like everyone's like, God, how can this get worse? And IS just says, hold my beer, dude. We can, we can, we can um, go further beyond and make this easier an even trashier mode. Um, so usually what my weeks are is I do like one battle on advanced and then I do the rest on intermediate. <laughs> and then if I try to care about it and get five advanced in a row, um, I end up hating my life. So I kind of just give up on it. Other than that, there weren't really any big changes with the Fae channel. I mean, we're g like, they have like the new summoners, the new my summoner designs and, um, the different things for the barracks that they're adding, but none of that was really stuff I feel like they needed to make a Fae channel for. I just feel like there hasn't been one in a while. And usually like April is when we would get like something like demotions, but since they did what they did with the pool already, I feel like they didn't really have anything to announce with those. Um, although, um, I don't know. I, like I was, I would still way rather have the heroes. I, I like the four star special thing. I just wish, I feel like they still need to be a little bit more accessible. Like I use one of my former souls on Sonya and I'm just like, man, I really wish that I could just get the rest of the merges for her since she, like she and every other gen one unit needs the merges so bad, but <sighs> it's not just not gonna happen. I was also hoping to finish my um, original Lucina next month, I think, is her weekly revival, but with Brave Dimitri coming back this month and next month, it's probably going to be, you know, using all my orbs for that, so. The blues are kind of running dry right now. Um, other than that, I mean, the Legendary Hero remix was pretty okay. I feel like people were are pretty excited to see what skills um, Gunthra and Ryoma are going to get. I don't have either of them, but happy for the people that do. I know a lot of people who have unwillingly um, merged up Legendary Ryoma quite a bit, so good for them. Bushido too. His 25 turns are up. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about it because I don't have either of them, but a lot of people were excited, so it's always nice to see other people be excited about things that I don't care about. Um, makes me appreciate um, that IS might do something good for, let me think. The, the, probably the most dead legendary hero I have is Ephraim. Ephraim's at plus one. And um, he is pretty much trash. So I'm looking forward to when he gets a legendary hero remix. And originally I wasn't, but the uh, child banner for Sacred Stones actually um, compelled me to go ahead and start playing it. I haven't played any of the Game Boy Advance uh, fire emblems. I took a crack at uh, Binding Blade once upon a time, but my problem was that so I pretty much oh I got another one cool So this is already going better that the last year fest I summoned on was Sothis's last um, Hero fest and 
God, what a mistake it was to uh, to go forward with that one. So we got two, so now he's at plus six. Anyways, um, I went ahead and started. I went ahead and started playing Sacred Stones. Um, my my problem with taking a crack at Binding Blade was because I tried to play it on my laptop, just you know, and. The problem is, is I work from home these days, so the last thing I want to do when I get done working at my desk is to sit down and play video games at my desk. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, even though it's like doing something completely different, like, before um, COVID and everything, I would spend like all day on my laptop. I would come home from work and I'd be like at my laptop all night. Now I'll like do anything to not sit in front of a laptop for the rest of the, e the evening. It's part of the reason why editing is kind of tough for me, because I'm just like... God, I don't want to be in front of a computer anymore. So um, what I actually ended up doing is um, having my Wii being able to play uh, Game Boy Advance games on it. Fuck yeah. Oh my God. We're actually getting really lucky. This is, I was really nervous about how the summoning session was going to go since my free summons just went like so poorly. Um, cool. Awesome. He's at plus seven. So him and Dudu are... Now tied for being my most merged five star. If I can get him to plus nine and then I can spark the last one next month, that will be awesome. So I guess we'll just keep going since this is going well. And I'll probably jinx it, so I'm gonna knock on my desk. I'm very superstitious. Um, anyways, yeah, I modded my Wii to be able to play Game Boy Advance games, and I'm, I'm really liking that. I like. It's just, I don't, and I also just don't like playing with the keyboard. Like, the only PC game I really play is Stardew Valley, which I know is available on other systems, but I've been playing it on my laptop since it came out in 2000 whenever. Um, so, uh, just something about playing on a, it's because I work all day on, on a keyboard, so I don't want to, like, be on a keyboard any more than I have to. So, I re I'm playing with, like, a GameCube controller or a Wii controller, and that just feels much more like... I'm playing video games to me than like yeah <laughs> use a freaking keyboard maybe I'm crazy maybe that sounds crazy but I feel like my logic is I feel like it's pretty understandable I still want to be in, a, in front of my uh, computer as much as much as I have to I'm already in front of it for eight hours a day how much, how much more <laughs> can I really do so I'm really enjoying it though and the reason I started playing is because um, earlier I think I said something like I don't want to use a character unless I have some sort of attachment to them. So, I mean, the free Innas we got was like too insane for me to not build up. Um, and honestly, like the kind of like snooty asshole archetype is like right up my alley. So, um, I was, so I was kind of like, well, now I want to play Sacred Stones because I want to use this character see some other supports so that I can have an attachment to them so I don't feel like I'm just throwing resources into someone that I'm like not familiar with at all um so I mean that's why I said like I still I'm trying to actively merge up gen 1 units and honestly I'm really surprised I haven't gotten a four star special this whole time instead I just got Gwendolyn disgusting um I'm really enjoying it so far. I think I'm like chapter 12, so not like too, too far in. Um, there's just something about playing Fire Emblem before, before like reclassing and before, I don't know. I don't even like really play around with reclassing that often anyways. I pretty much do like the same thing with everyone all the time, which is like probably super boring and I'm doing it to myself by not branching out, but like, I don't want to put, I don't know. It's just like, there's so much, like, especially when I was playing, like, Awakening, like, the Awakening meta was, like, so crazy with, like, the child units and, like, everything. I've, I've never been interested in it. I just, I don't know. Like, I preferred playing, I don't say I preferred it because I like them both for different reasons, but there's just something about playing a Fire Emblem game where you don't have to, like, care about um, reclassing. I know there's like reclassing options for everyone, but it's not as like open-ended as something like Three Houses or um, or anything like that. So that that much. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I right now I have I'm kind of set on like Fortress Defense Res fodder, but my original Cliff I didn't get his HM. I don't even think I got his Dragon Flowers. So okay, not the worst pity breaker. It wasn't like a Selkie or something. So I'll take that. 
Um, but yeah, it's just Sacred Stones. I'm on like chapter 12. I'm loving Innes, honestly. He's just as much of a douchebag as I was promised, and that's an archetype that I just, I really like. I don't know why. Given I, my boyfriend knows how I am, and so I was like, this character is a total asshole. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah, you know what that means. And he was like, oh, you, you love him. And I was like, I would die for him. And normally in Fire Emblem games, I try not to use pre-promotes or like, I don't use like, I use Shamir sometimes in Three Houses, but I don't use Catherine or anything because I prefer just to use units that have like a, like I like using the students. I like using the underdogs a little bit more, but I'm like, I love him. I love him. I have to use him because I love him. Ooh, good circle. Um, so yeah. Um, I pretty much know all the plot points of Sacred Stones and everything. Like there's really no spoilers that... I can avoid, I already know how it goes. I'm starting on Erica's route um, because I like Erica more than Ephraim because she is a cute girl. Um, but I'll probably replay it. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> we're getting really lucky. What is he at, plus eight? So cool, if I can get just one more, I'll wait to spark the last one because I know that that's a guarantee and I don't have to gamble this much. Um, wow, this is going way better than I thought it would. Um, let's see. Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't even care if I'm loud, because my, my upstairs neighbors are like the most obnoxious people in the world, so I don't care if I just like spooked them or something. Oh my... I've never had that happen before. The back-to-back -to, -back to do's was crazy. This is on like a different level. Can I get three? It's just super. If I got three, I would have had a whole ass aneurysm. So what is that? That's plus nine, right? That is plus nine, right? Pardon my French in case, you know. I mean, I might as well wait for the spark, right? I might as well wait for it. Okay. I, yeah. I think that's, that's gonna be it. I didn't even reach the cap in my barracks. Oh... My god, how many- that was only- that was 230 orbs. I feel like- I think I spent 500 or 600 orbs on the Sothis Hero Fest and I got like two copies of her. Oh my god. This could not have gone better. Because I hate going down to zero orbs and now I'm, I still have a starting point. So like I have 30. I am- I am beyond. I have transcended. And I am thrilled to have this be how my morning starts off. Like, yeah, listen, I even woke up at like 6 a.m. And I was, because I didn't know when the Hero Fest were starting. I like would just watch the Fate Train. I went to bed because I'm old and I work full time. Um, and I woke up at 6 o'clock and I was like, okay, they're available now. So I did all the quests. I got like all the orbs from the, um, the Tome Arts quest or like right now or whatever. I'm okay. This is great. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna save up for the spark for the next uh, for the next one. And if I get a copy along the way, then I'll spark for Claude or something. So, all right, all right, all right. I'll stop rambling now. Um, thank you for watching. If you watch this, it's a little bit of a shorter one, but that's okay. Um, it was really exciting. I only got one pity breaker, um, and my free summons were garbage. But I mean. I can't really ask for much better than how this went, so yes, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked it, like the video, um, leave a comment if you feel like it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks!